Hi there, CL. This is Michael from BetterTofelScores.com. I'm getting ready to grade your speaking practice test. Let's take a look at the email you sent me. Hi, Mr. Buckoff. I would put here not I had, just say I just subscribed. There's no need to use the past perfect tense there. The only, the only need for the past perfect tense is when you have two actions in the past and the one occurs before the other. I had just subscribed or I just subscribed to the TOEFL speaking boot camp course after completing a free speaking evaluation a while back. I remember you have here's a question. Some university students choose to take difficult classes if they know they might not get a good grade in the class. Other students prefer to take easier classes in which they know they will get a good grade. So which do you prefer? Explain why. And I'm going to listen to your response here in just a minute. Okay, here we go. No, I definitely like to take difficult classes instead of uh, simple classes. Uh, this is because I like the challenges you know, presented by uh, these uh, difficult classes. Uh, for instance, uh, I uh, had taken a class called medical paper writing uh, back in my university days and um, I was struggling so hard initially uh, because I uh, didn't understand how to start, how to write, and all this um, medical terminology uh, had drove me crazy. But uh, I'm glad <laughs> that, that I uh, did pull through in the end uh, because by completing this class, it has helped me tremendously now uh, in my working. Instead of saying, by completing this course, it has, just use a Jaron phrase there. Completing this course has helped me to blah, blah, blah. Okay, and we see what I'm looking at here. I'm thinking between 2.5 and 3. I'm going to say 20 to 21 points out of 30 on this one. Your intelligibility is not perfect, so you can work a little bit on your intonation, for example. I think maybe some minor problems with language use and the topic development, I'll make some more comments as I listen to it on this second time. So maybe 20 to 21 points out of 30. No, I definitely like to take difficult classes instead of uh, simple classes. Uh, this is because I like the challenges. I would just say I prefer difficult classes. I prefer to take difficult simple classes things. because, and then blah, 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 state your reasons. Yes by uh, these uh, difficult classes, uh, for instance. Uh, so your grammar is not really concise. You use, you use grammar structures, but you can be more concise in how you use them. I, wanted you, I want you to check out, uh, I have a grammar lesson in my seven step system. It's called sentence variety. I think it's grammar lesson 26. It's one of those, right? Go through that lesson to see how you can be more concise with the grammar that you're using. I uh, had taken a class called medical paper writing. Um, see, see you're, cons you're having that problem with the present perfect. Just, I took a class called blah, blah, blah. And during this class, I was struggling with. So I don't see any, any reason for the past perfect tense there. Go to Google. Right? I want you to make a comparison. Here are the key words. The simple past versus the past perfect verb tense in English grammar. I want you to look at the web page side by side. What's the difference between these two verb tenses? I think you need to understand that a little bit better. I'll just give you one example. If I said this, I had finished the assignment when my friend knocked on the door, you know, Knock, 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 right? Again, I had finished the assignment when my friend knocked on the door. So in this case, I have working on the assignment is one pass action, and then that pass action occurs before my friend knocked on the door. So to me, you have to have two different actions in the sentence or you're implying those two actions, and that's why you would use the, the past perfect tense before the simple past. That's the way I see it. You can verify that as you study uh, online about that. I think that's something you need to work on. My university days, and um, I was struggling so hard initially 
uh, because I uh, didn't understand how to start, how to write, and all this um, medical terminology uh, had drove me crazy. But uh, I'm glad uh, that I uh, did pull through in the end. Uh, because by completing this class, it has helped me tremendously now. Just say completing this course has helped me tremendously. Uh, in my now, okay. I definitely like to take. Okay, so classes if if we look at the rubrics, I think I'm going to go a little bit lower. I'm going to put you at uh, I'm going to say 18 to 19 points out of 30. You had more language use issues than I realized. I think that's partly what's bringing your speaking score down right now, and also obviously some pronunciation issues. All right, and thank you for doing this practice test.